Hi everyone, Menachem Brody here for you once again from Human Vortex Training. We're here today to give you a little bit of a higher level of coaching advice. Now this is something that I take usually with most of my high level athletes, but it's starting to come down to the, the basic athletes and especially for my recreational athletes. Those of you who like to do weekend rides and really push yourselves during the week, you actually work sometimes a lot harder than some of the athletes I'm working with for training. So this really pertains to you if you're, they call it the weekend warrior, I don't like that, but someone who thinks of themselves as not racing but rides fairly seriously or regularly. And that today is, I wanna to talk to you about having a blood panel done. This is very important for a number of reasons. Uh, we spoke in a previous video about the transition period and allowing your body weight to come up between six and 12 pounds at least once uh, for one point during the year after your prime race or your prime riding season. And that's important because it allows the immune, the immune system to recover, it allows your hormones to recover, uh, and it also allows for better soft tissue repair. But even with allowing that weight to come up, which can be very hard for us because we think cyclists have to be lean and mean the whole time, even if we let that weight come up, there's also a lot of other functions we need to make sure that are working properly in the body. So here's a list of about eight to 12 different tests that you should go to your primary care physician and have done at minimum once a year, preferably once during your baseline and once during the mid season when you're training your hardest. And some of them should even be quarterly. Now I'm gonna, not gonna tell you which ones should be done uh, twice a year and which ones should be done four times a year. That's up to you and your primary care physician, your family doctor to decide because they should know you best and you need to make sure that your doctor knows how hard you're competing and how hard you're training or riding. So here we go. And I'll put these up on a slide at the end so that you don't have to furiously write down. You'll be able to pause the video at one spot and have them all done. The first one is cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone in the body that is a stress response hormone. So working in EMS, my cortisol levels were through the roof and it showed here, okay? So life stress can account for that, training stress can account for that, uh, work, family, there's so many different things that can affect cortisol levels. It's just a generic response by the body to any type of stress, psychological, physiological, or environmental. So we want cortisol to be tested. Along those lines, we'd like to have testosterone tested. Testosterone is a hormone in the body that will respond uh, appropriately when we stress the body so that the muscle tissues and the connective tissues will all be able to repair themselves and grow. So that's why it's important to come up six to 12 pounds from that prime race weight at least once a year. And by the way, for those of you who are more recreational riding, I would not come up more than six pounds. If you don't see a weight loss during the year and you're pretty steady, don't worry about coming up six to 12 pounds. That can lead to unwanted weight gain. Uh, so try and watch your diet a little bit and let's see if you can get that weight down maybe two to three pounds during the prime race or ride season. Back to our function tests. CRP or ESR is an inflammation marker in the body. That's another test. Let your physician tell you which one you should have done, but it is a pretty good test to have done as well. One or the other, they may want both. We also have thyroid function, which is a TSH test. I had this done with an athlete of mine about a month and a half, two months ago, and uh, it turned out that my instincts and my training as an American College of Sports Medicine uh, turned out to be right, and his thyroid was functioning low, it also had low testosterone levels, and that's why he was not responding properly, both fatigue-wise and recovery-wise, uh, recovery from all the training stress that we put on. So really important to have that TSH done. And no, in my experiences, that, that when the TSH uh, is off the charts, you're generally gonna see the testosterone do something wacky as well. So those can go in pairs. Uh, Back to the list of tests. So we have cortisol, which is a stress in the body, testosterone, which is repair for the tissues and ligaments and connective tissues, the CRP, ESR, which is an inflammation, TSH, which is thyroid function, and then we have something called a CMP, or a complete metabolic panel. This is going to take a look at about 10 to 14 different organs within the body and let us know how they're functioning. Then we have a complete blood count, which is a CBC. This is going to take a look at the blood, break it down into neutrophils, basophils, platelets, a lot of different things. It will tell the doctor what's going on within your blood and how are you doing. Then we have iron with TIBC, and this is just essentially iron status within the body. Is it tied up? Is it being used? Is it floating around? Is it not available? It's a great way to kind of see what's going on with the iron in the body. Along those lines, we have ferritin, which is stored iron. So this will tell us a little bit more about a deficiency or anemia, if your doctor thinks so. 
Transferrin, which is a nutrition and liver status test. Is the liver working right? Are you getting proper nutrition? Now, we mentioned ferritin just before this, which is the stored iron and can lead to deficiency or an anemia. But what a lot of people may not realize is that you can also be anemic uh, or have issues with anemia because of a B vitamin, uh, a lack of a B vitamin. It can be either B12, which you should have tested, and folic acid, which you should have tested. Now, these two minerals, or vitamins rather, are sub uh, category of the B vitamin, which there are eight. So there are eight B vitamins, of which B12 and folic acid tend to be used the most. Think of it as like the key to open the door for some of the functions in the body. So these are some things that you need to talk with your doctor and have done at least twice a year. So I would say uh, at your highest, most intense period of training or racing in the year or riding, and also uh, six to eight weeks into your base. So here they are once again, and they're going to be up on a nice slide right there for you. We have cortisol, testosterone, CBC, complete blood count, iron with TIBC, which is iron status within the body, transferrin, which is nutrition and liver status, ferritin, which is stored iron. Then we have the CMP, which is a complete metabolic panel, a TSH, which is thyroid function, and CRP or ESR, which is for inflammation, and then we have the B vitamins of B12 and folic acid. So these are a couple of different tests that you should have done at least bi-yearly. This is very important, guys. Even if you're eating a very healthy diet and you are taking vitamins, it does not necessarily mean that everything's going to be okie-dokie A number one. So please make sure you guys are taking some time, letting your doctor know that you're participating in endurance sports, uh, as well as making sure to check on your own health and check your body from the inside out. So this is all for you guys. I want to hear that you guys are doing well, and it is all about you.